Hi, babe. Faye's right. Can't be jealous of Bridget. I'm gonna call Paddock and I'm gonna see if I can get her a watch made. Are you insane? Ah, uh, perfect. It was like 911, so I didn't know. I what you know. Mean. I wanted to see you. I was in a meeting. My age is amazing and a beautiful thing. You're making me a little jealous with that dog, and I thought that the only way... Look, I bark. You look good, Grace. How are you? Yes. We have no privacy, so even the bedroom is up for your family's business. <laughs> On The Kardashians, Kris Jenner and Corey Gamble discuss their relationship in depth, including a shocking disclosure about their love lives involving a beach rendezvous. Kris Jenner and Corey Gamble's Relationship Kris Jenner and her boyfriend Corey Gamble's relationship began in 2014, when they first met and have been together ever since. Gamble is a corporate executive as well as a talent manager. When he met Kris and during the start of their relationship, he was working as Justin Bieber's tour manager for Scooter Braun. After Kim Kardashian disclosed that Gamble had stayed with Jenner for the night, Gamble made his Keeping Up with the Kardashians debut a year later in March. In April 2015, the couple declared their romance publicly on Instagram with a photo that also included Billy Ray and Tish Cyrus. Corey Gamble and Kris Jenner's affair began during the latter's divorce from Caitlyn Jenner after 22 years of marriage. Despite keeping his personal life private, Gamble appeared on KUWTK on a regular basis. Hi, Bridget. My favorite person on the planet. Wait, we're supposed to be going out to lunch. What up? Chris, how are you? Good how are you? Already? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they are today. We're going to talk to them because we can't go nowhere without Bridget. Chris is the one that won a dog. Just grilled chicken? Yeah. Can I just get like a little grilled Side chicken brush grilled chicken? for my little sweet little daughter? You make the perfect cup for the ice cream ride. I know you're on the hippie now, which is amazing. I'm going to call Paddock and I'm going to see if I can get her a watch made. Are you insane? He also has many renowned pals, including Tommy Hilfiger, David Grutman, Carl Lentz, Michael Rubin, Jay-Z, Drake, and others. Jenner had been married twice before starting her romance with Gamble. She first married Courtney, Kim, and Khloe Kardashian's father, Robert, before the marriage dissolved in 1991. She then married Caitlyn Jenner, born Bruce Jenner, in 1991, but the marriage did not last, and the pair divorced in 2015. Steamy Beach Confessions even though Corey Gamble and Kris Jenner's passionate relationship is still going strong, they aren't necessarily keen to engage in seaside sensuality. On the way to a dinner date, Kris, 67, and Corey, 42, warmly reminisced about their courting in a recent episode of The Kardashians, which will be streamable on October 5. Everything that happens, in her opinion, has a reason. Humans naturally want their actions to have a good effect. Chris quipped when asked by a producer about her hopes for a committed partnership with Corey. Corey questioned Chris about her memory of the location of their first kiss in the video. Did it happen in her backyard? No. Her first kiss? Was it in Paris? Chris asked in response to Corey's admission, who then said, want to hear something good? She couldn't recall either. They were already involved with each other before at her house after dinner at Casa Vega, Corey mentioned. Chris expressed amazement at how quickly things developed between her and Corey. Really? Oh my, I'm such a flirt, she said jokingly. Chris and Corey brought up their intimate life again later on in the episode. Do you remember lovemaking on the beach, the drink? And one may go up to someone and ask, would you care for intimacy on the beach? Would you like to try a lovemaking on the beach? Chris asked Corey. Corey Gamble clarified that the beach experience he and Chris Jenner had previously described was not in Los Angeles County and took place in the Maldives. He made a light-hearted remark that they would be subject to cancellation if they attempted to recreate that scene in Los Angeles. Chris clarified that if they sought to engage in physical conduct in LA, they would be subject to legal repercussions. 
In a confessional interview, she made playful allusions to her love of keeping things intriguing and exciting in their relationship. We have no privacy, so even the bedroom is up for your family's business. <laughs> Hi, babe. What? Faye's right. Can't be jealous of Bridget. Ah, oh, perfect. It was like 911, so I didn't know. I what you know. Mean. I wanted to I see was you. In the More it's energy us. for for not having an orgasm. I, yes or no? I, I, yes, I will make the time. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys. All of you, get out of here. I'm mean, no. I'm insane for her. Looks like I have some competition. Competition. Hi guys, sorry I'm hey, late. Look how cute you look. Thank you. I think there's really something wrong with me. Why do you say that? Because I'm always in the mood. No Wait, hugs? We, you look so nice. We wanted to say hi. Say, I don't think this is the time you want to. Oh my God. The fourth season of The Kardashians has highlighted Chris and Corey's romance as they spend time with her well known family. On September 28, the season premiere of the show became available for streaming. In it, Chris discussed how she affected Corey's career and how she blocked his appearance on their favorite show, Yellowstone. Kim Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian heard Chris's excitement about viewing the forthcoming Yellowstone episode. Chris said Corey was approached to join the cast but turned it down. Chris had first anticipated Corey and a television character in a love story. Corey did make the suggestion that he might have achieved stardom on Yellowstone if it weren't for Chris. Later, Kim, 42, and Chloe, 39, voice their disagreement with Chris's decision, saying they would have gladly accepted a comparable offer, especially if it meant having an on-screen kiss with famed actor Kevin Costner. While Chris, on the other hand, firmly agreed with the notion of playing John Dutton III's romantic interest, she referred to it as a yes. Love making on the beach experience in the Maldives. The world, and in particular the Maldives, got to see Chris Jenner and Corey Gamble's adorable display of love for one another. During the episode of The Kardashians that aired, the matriarch of the Kardashian family and her businessman boyfriend both admitted that they had previously participated in a highly dangerous intimate experience. The naughty little secret was revealed when the couple was on a date at the Giorgio Baldi restaurant in Santa Monica. You look good, Chris. How are you? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Are you gonna help, Chris? Do you have any advice for Chrissy Teigen? Chris, you have. Step back, guys. Make a hole. And they were talking about the mixed cocktail called Love Making on the Beach. You want to try Love Making on the Beach? He asked her. Jenner put the question to her boyfriend. We had the choice between having the drink or the real thing. We did that, he said in response. No, we didn't do it here, but we did it in the Maldives, you can say. Jenner vouched for the veracity of this information by stating, yeah, we did. Gamble, though, emphasized that he would not do the act on a shoreline in Los Angeles County, and he added, I'm not into it. This is where our event will be canceled. The founder of Safely soon cleared the situation by making a joke and saying, we'll get arrested. She continued her confession by saying, there's nothing wrong with being spicy, which was part of her statement, and I enjoy ensuring that things are current. During the remainder of the couple's evening out, Chris talked about her daughter Chloe's relationship with her ex-boyfriend, Tristan Thompson, who currently resides with her after his roof collapsed and he was forced to move in with her. Jenner loved the way in which the two parents worked together as co-parents, while Gamble hoped that the two would finally figure it out. In the hopes of assisting in the couple's reconciliation, Gamble urged Jenner to have one more talk with her daughter. Jenner complied with Gamble's request. Between 2016 and 2021, Kardashian and Thompson went through periods of on-again, off-again dating before finally calling it quits in 2021 due to Thompson's ongoing affair. I have lipstick all over my face. 
No, why? Oh, we were just having a little makeout session in the car. What? Corey really thinks that he's Bridget's dad. You brought your what own Mirabel trophy? He I wanted brought... to bring a gift to <laughs> oh, make this you real. <laughs> Thank you. Which is amazing and a beautiful thing. You're making me a little jealous with that dog, and I thought that the only way... Look, I bark. Jenna revealed in a confessional that family is so important to Corey. He gives Chloe a great deal of his attention. When viewed from the outside, the relationship between Chloe and Tristan appears to be quite difficult, yet no one can truly predict what the future holds for the two of them. My opinion is that they should figure that out on their own. I don't have a way to see into the future. Kim Kardashian went to Ohio to speak with Kevin Keith, an inmate who was condemned to demise for a triple slaying he believes he did not do. During other parts of the program, Kim Kardashian visited Harvard Business School to speak with students and Ohio to speak with Kevin Keith. Kim discussed his situation in detail on her show for Spotify titled The System. During the episode, Chloe and Thompson talked about their relationship. Chloe insisted that she and her ex are not back together and that she does not want to deceive Thompson about their status as a couple while he is staying at her house in Calabasas. Thompson agreed with Chloe's statement. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.